Just the other day, I was on this website. I know I can't pronounce the name right. Yeath, Yeath, Yeath. Anyways, it's a website where they sell a lot of WooCommerce plugins that they make. And they've got a ton of them, like a huge library. But there is this infographic right here that's their 2020 stats. And right here, it lists their top three premium plugins. And the number one is request a quote. And the number two was catalog mode. These are the plugins that people are buying the most. Now, there's no problem with buying a premium plugin to solve a problem that you might be having. However, with catalog mode, I was thinking this should be something that you should be able to do to your website without having to buy anything. So my mind got thinking and I came up with a few scenarios of how you can do this on your website without purchasing a premium plugin. And that's what this video is all about. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and jump in this tutorial. So here I have a brand new, clean, untouched, fresh WordPress installation. The first thing we need to do is get a WooCommerce site here with as minimal effort as possible. So I'm gonna go to themes and I'll click on add new and I'll go ahead and click on popular. And here's a popular theme called the Cadence theme. It is completely free. So I'm gonna install that and it has some templates that I can add with one click that will do the whole WooCommerce thing for me. So I'm gonna click on install starter templates. All right, I'm gonna go with Gutenberg, but you can go with Elementor. It's completely up to you. And here's the one, it's called print shop. So I can customize the colors if I wanted, site wide with a click. I'll just stick with the default ones and I can also customize these uh, fonts, but I'll just go ahead and click on full site, start importing, and I'm going to have a full WooCommerce shop with a few clicks and I haven't spent one penny. Okay, all done. That just took a moment or so and now I have a full WooCommerce website and haven't spent a penny on it. And so let's go ahead and jump into one of these products. So here is my product and this is actually a very nice looking product page. So we're gonna put this in catalog mode and what that's gonna be is there's going to be no opportunity to purchase the product and instead it's going to lead you to either call or to fill out a contact form to inquire about the price. So there's two ways that we can go about this. First is if you want to make it site wide across all of your products. So the entire store is in a catalog mode. And then the second way I'm going to show you is how to do it on a product by product basis. If you just have a few products that you want to put into a catalog mode where you want someone to inquire if they want to purchase that product. Now, the first thing you always want to do is to see if these kinds of features, what you're trying to accomplish, can be done with what you already have installed on your website. And that way, you don't have to add anything to it. So I'm using this Cadence theme. So let me show you with this theme and your theme might have similar features. So I'm gonna go into the customizer and then I'm going to go into the WooCommerce settings and there's options here for the single product layout. And when I scroll down, here is what they call the product elements. And this is everything that makes up what you see here on this right column. And so I can show or hide anything that I want here. So this makes it really easy when you're using the free cadence theme. Maybe your theme might have similar features, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you, if your theme doesn't, I'm gonna show you in the next step what you can do about it. All right, so for here, if I don't wanna show the price, I can click on the I and the price automatically disappears. And then if I don't want to show the add to cart, I can click right here and that disappears. And my, my store is now, if I was to save this, it's pretty much in a catalog mode. We just want to add some information here on what they need to do in order to inquire about the price. So what I'm gonna do is hijack this feature right here. I love this feature, it's called extras. And when I expand the extras option here, I can change what this line of text says. So let me change this. And I've simply entered in call for a quote and then the phone number and it's right there. And I would probably on this not wanna show these 
uh, this payment badge and right here it says payment. So I click on the I and get rid of that. And I could also, if I wanted to customize these bullet points and pretty much my store is in catalog mode because you can't click on an order button to order anything. It's pretty much a done deal from here. Now, one secret feature that most people don't realize you can do in the WordPress customizer is you can actually schedule these changes. So if you wanted to put it in catalog mode, say next week, you can go ahead and click on this settings wheel right here. And these changes that I've just made, I can literally schedule it for a future date and it would convert my website into a catalog mode on that date. So this is the first way is to check if your theme has features like this that allow you to hide these elements because that's pretty much putting it into a catalog mode. And if it's going to allow you to add a bit of text that you see right here. Now I realize not all themes are gonna have these features Cadence theme is a free theme, so you might want to check that out, but it's okay. Uh, let me show you another way that we can replace this right here with a button that has custom text on it, and it takes them to a custom page where we can have a contact form for them to fill out. And this is also going to be super easy. We're going to do this using a free plugin. So go to plugins, click on add new, and for search, type in cart flows, C-A-R-T-F-L-O-W-S, and Cartflows is a free plugin. I happen to be the co-founder of Cartflows and a lot of my ideas go into this, but it's a super popular plugin. As you can see, it's on nearly 200,000 websites at the time of making this video. So I'm going to install it and this allows us to modify the checkout process using WooCommerce. Okay, I'm gonna click on activate and this is also free. There's nothing that you're gonna to need to purchase. Um, I'm going to skip the wizard. Uh, but there's an onboarding wizard. You could go through steps for setting it up. I'm just going to stick it, skip it because I already know how to use the plugin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Card Flows. I'm going to click on Flows. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a flow. And this is going to take place of someone checking out. Let me show you. So I'm gonna click on add new. I'm gonna click on start from scratch. Now there are templates, by the way, if you wanted to have Elementor, design this using Elementor or Gutenberg, whatever, we do have custom templates available. But for me, I'm gonna do a start from scratch. I'll give this a name. I'll name this catalog flow. I'll click on design my flow. And this is automatically going to create a few steps. Just follow me and it's all gonna make sense. So this first step here that says sales landing, we're actually gonna just delete that. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go on delete and I'm gonna click on okay. Now, right here is the first step and this is where we're gonna want to put a contact form. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit. And then here I'm gonna click on go to the WordPress editor. And this is where we can design what happens when someone clicks on a button that, and we're gonna make, we're gonna customize what that button says on the product page, and this is where it's going to lead them to. So let's go ahead and change the title here. I just entered in request a quote, and on post attributes, we want to change this to default template. And then what we want to do right here is design a page with a contact form. So let me just, we'll come back to this in a moment, but let me just put something in here. Now you might already have a contact form pro, uh, plugin on your website. You wanna use that. You don't wanna add a, a new one. So you would put a contact form in here. Now I'm using Cadence Blocks, which includes a contact form block for Gutenberg. So I can go here and type form, uh, there it is. And here's a basic form. I'd wanna customize the fields and all of that kind of stuff, but I'm just gonna put this in here for now. And then I'm gonna click on update. All right, so now let's go back in to one of our products. So here's how we're gonna make the link from the product to this contact form, and it's very easy. So we've got this product right here, it's a mug. Let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. Here's the mug, and we have uh, a button here and all this kind of stuff. We're gonna change this right now. So let me go ahead and edit the product. And when you have Cartflows installed, you'll see a new tab right here that says Cartflows. 
And what this is gonna allow us to do right here is change what that button says on this product page and then to, to right here, select where we want that button to go. So I wanted to go to that form I just created. So I named it a uh, catalog, right? Catalog flow. That's where I want them to go. And right here for the button text, I think I might just do the same thing. Enter in request a quote. There we go. That works out perfect. Let me go ahead and click on update. Let's take a look. There's gonna be one more thing I have to change and I already know about it, but let's go ahead and click into the product. So you can see what we have here. We're gonna make a little uh, tweaks to get rid of this number or quantity selection, but the button changed to say request a quote. And when I click on it, it's gonna take me to that page that I didn't really design. I just uh, changed the name of it and I put a little bit of text and I put a contact form. So you'll wanna put a well put together contact form in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of this quantity selector for this product. I'll click on edit product. And then in here, I'm going to want to scroll down. I'll click on inventory and it's just, just check this box here that so, says sold individually. What this means is that quantity selector won't be there anymore. I'll go ahead and click on update. And then next I want to click right here where uh, to take a look at the product and you can see we no longer have the quantity selector and that add to cart button now says what we wanted it to say, request a quote. And this can say anything that you want it to say and it'll work on any theme. I click on request a quote and what it does is it just takes me right over here and I can go ahead and fill this out and request a quote for, for, for the price. Now there's one other thing you might want to do if you're doing this. You might want to be able to hide the price, right? If it's saying you request a quote, <laughs> you probably don't want to show the price there. I totally get that. So on your theme, if there's not an option to hide the price, you're going to want to end up doing this with custom CSS. It's really not that hard. So I'm using Google Chrome. I can right click and choose inspect. And then I can click this little option right here and then inspect whatever I want. But what I want to inspect is this right here, this whole little section there with the price. So I'm gonna click on it and it's highlighting the code right there and it's highlighting some of the CSS that makes it up. And this right here, you can see as I hover my mouse, you see how it highlights that section? This is the CSS classes that are controlling the style of that area. And we can hide the price with some custom CSS. So let's just test it. I'm gonna click in here to get a new line and I'm gonna type display like this. And then I'm gonna type none. And you can see the price just disappeared. And so this is a little bit of custom CSS that I can add to my theme. I can just go like this and highlight uh, this little bit of code right there, put it into my clipboard, and I'm gonna get rid of the inspector tool. And when you make that change there, it's just for testing. It's not going to apply when you refresh the page. I would put that little snippet of code in the customizer. So for the Cadence theme, I wouldn't use custom CSS, but it, because there's the option to hide it. But if your theme doesn't have it, there we go, it's gone. So I can get rid of this little bit here. And you can see when I click on publish with that little snippet of CSS is now hiding the price. And so you would follow the same steps with your theme to see what the classes are for the price. So there you have it. The real easy way, two real easy ways to put your website in a catalog mode. And the first one is site wide. And the second one is really cool because you could do it on a, a product by product basis and you have full uh, ability to change what that button says on it. And then you can design a page that someone lands at when they click on that button. And it was all super easy. There wasn't any cost to any of this. Now, if you want more features, obviously there is that pro plugin, that premium plugin to add this feature set. One thing it had that was interesting is the ability to schedule your website going into a catalog mode or not. So uh, it depends on you and what your needs are, but I think this might meet most people's needs, what I put together for you in this video. Hey, you can help me out if you've learned something in this video by giving it a thumbs up right now. That helps me out. And if you have any questions about this, you can ask in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.